Welcome to Life in General Vlogs. My name is Mariah. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to share with you what my 16 month old toddler, Emma, eats in a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Also, her snacks and her drinks. She is extremely picky, so if you're interested, continue watching. Usually, Emma will wake up between 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m., depending how tired she is. We don't wake her up. We let her wake up on her own. And in her room, she already has a sippy cup of water. We definitely encourage her to drink lots and lots of water. Then when we get downstairs, she will always have about 6 to 8 ounces of toddler formula. And the only reason why I give her that because she is extremely picky eater and she eats really bad. She usually will throw all of her food on the floor and she wouldn't gain weight at all. And my pediatrician had recommended me to get the toddler's formula. That's what helped. And the only reason why I like the parent's choice, which is uh, the Walmart brand, that's what she likes. I've tried other brands. This is what she likes and I stick to it. So in the morning, she will have her formula. If I'm out of formula, I will give her whole milk warmed up with maybe a table to two tablespoons of baby cereal, like multigrain or oatmeal, usually oatmeal or multigrain. She will have that and we'll just relax on a couch and enjoy each other's company. Part two of our breakfast. I know it sounds really interesting, but this is what works for me. This is the system that I've been using and utilizing since she was six months old. So after she has her formula and all of that, around 9.30 to 11.30 a.m., she will have her actual breakfast because usually around noon or like 12.30 p.m., she'll wanna go and nap. This is where she's active, she's running around. So this is the time for me to feed her. I will always give her, if I'm gonna give her yogurt, I try to give her Greek organic yogurt that is plain, that's what I buy. And then I'll put berries or honey in there or whatever else I want myself because I know how much sugar goes in there. If not that, then on a right hand side, you could see in a bowl right there, it's actually cream of weed. She loves cream of weed as long as it's not clumpy. It's in a liquidy form. And usually I will put frozen berries in there like she loves blueberries and she will enjoy it that she will eat but depending on her mood and what I have she will actually eat those things moving on to the next scenery right here she absolutely loves eggs she loves scrambled eggs and blueberries that's her favorite she has a little table so we'll encourage her to sit down and heat her blueberries. I'll cut up some orange. She's still getting used to the oranges. She's not a big fan of it, but I'll put it in front of her. She will kind of eat it, but eggs, she will always, always eat eggs. And then another plate, what I have on the left-hand side is also scrambled eggs, a toast with cream cheese, and a little bit of drizzle of honey on top. And then those little, uh, like little snack things that you see those are actually called the bomba and what they are they are corn puffs that are israeli snack they sell them at walmart or any israeli uh, grocery store what they're made basically it is corn puffs with coated with peanut butter powdered peanut butter on top and that's how i've been feeding her since she was six months old introducing peanut butter to her that's probably the only way she will eat peanut butter. She will not eat peanut butter sandwiches. She does not like it. Anyways, moving on. Then I have on the left hand side again, scrambled eggs, some Harvati cheese or any type of cheese that is fresh. And then also at the Russian grocery store or Polish uh, or German grocery store, you could get at the deli, you could get a German bologna which is made 100% out of veal um, or chicken and stuff like that. This one is veal and I fried a little bit and she loves it like that. 
Uh, when I get a chance to go to the Russian grocery store, I do buy it by a pound because I also make sandwiches for Ryan. And then on the right hand side, I have scrambled eggs. What else is new? Grapes. And then also small uh, German baby sausage for kids. Um, I also fry them and cut them up into pieces. She will kind of enjoy it, but not really. It's a struggle, but anyways, if she doesn't eat it, I'll finish it. Or we have the dog. We have the dog. The dog will eat anything, obviously, except grapes. Then the next segment I have, again, grapes, scrambled eggs, only with cheese different type of cheese this one is chatter cheese she does like chatter cheese i've noticed that and then on the right hand side i have the pouches i only give her the pouches in in case of an emergency like let's say if my mother-in-law is watching her she's being picky she's not eating then she'll have one of those or she's giving me trouble that she's not gonna eat anything at all that's my last resort basically I try to buy them organic as much as possible, especially when they're on sale. She will eat them. Okay? So that's pretty much it for breakfast, you guys. Uh, do comment down below. Let me know what you guys give for breakfast to your toddlers. Maybe I'll get some ideas. But let's continue to our lunch. Let's move on to lunch. This is where it gets fun. She's in a lot better mood because she had a, hopefully, a long nap. Usually I'll put her to bed for her first nap and the only nap because she's 16 months old right now and she just transitioned to one nap. She does not want to do two naps unless it is extremely busy day and she's exhausted or we're in a car driving. Anyways, she will fall asleep between 12 p.m. That's usually the latest that I'll put her in 12.30 and then usually at the latest she will wake up around 3.30 p.m. And that means I get to do things that I need to do around the house. If you're a mom or a dad, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, on the left hand side, usually when she wakes up, I'll give her a plate of fruits that are cut up. I have some strawberries, blueberries, uh, pears that day. That's what I had. And then I had papaya. She does like papaya. If she will not eat any of that, I will resort to mac and cheese. Uh, it has to be out of the box, the original mac and cheese. I tried the Annie's, she does not like that. It has to be the original mac and cheese. She will eat, that was her second plate that she ate. She will eat mac and cheese. So I'm giving her what she likes. Next segment, you guys, again, scrambled eggs, some vegetables, corn, peas, uh, carrots, and string beans. She will like that and she'll pick them and she'll eat them most of them will end up on the floor cheese she likes cheese I believe that's a monster cheese yeah and then on uh, right hand side I have uh, English muffin with a little bit of peanut butter I'm talking about a smidge barely any on it um, she does eat that if it's like that but if it's too much uh, of peanut butter and jelly we tried before she will not eat it she will throw it she will throw it on the floor and then obviously my dog will eat it also she has some fruits uh, strawberries and blueberries and some apples sliced apples she likes that a lot and pears as we move on this is pretty much I repeat all of these meals because they work okay Another thing that I did not mention, and I forgot to put it in this video, and I will mention that at, at the end, I believe, um, bananas. She will eat a banana at any time. All right? So in this segment, what I have on the left-hand side, it actually looks like it's scrambled eggs alone. No, it's not. What it is, I boil cook egg noodles, and then I fry them a little bit in butter, and then I add scrambled eggs, she will absolutely eat a whole plate. And also if you add any type of mozzarella cheese or any type of cheese that you have, she will eat it. And then I have pickles for her and a little pieces of um, cheese again. So she will eat the whole plate uh, picking out her noodles with eggs. 
If you've never tried it before, try it. It's actually very delicious. On the right hand side, she has chicken nuggets, eggs, and vegetables, and of course, blueberries. That's her favorite. You guys, I give her what she loves. All right, for dinner, we start dinner for Emma around 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. At the latest, 8 p.m., but I try to do it 7 p.m. so she has a routine and she has time to digest and play around because bedtime is around 9 o'clock since she only takes one nap. Anyhow, for dinner, I have different varieties. So I have chicken nuggets, the chicken dino nuggets. Uh, she will eat those. Apparently, she likes to bite off the head and then the rest goes to the dog. That day, I actually made uh, fried rice with some broccoli and then obviously some more vegetables. She loves vegetables. I give her as much as vegetables possible. One of her favorite vegetables is cucumbers and tomatoes. She will eat that. That's on the right hand side. Also, I have grilled zucchini. She likes zucchini because it resembles uh, cucumbers. She will eat those. She loves rice and I've made Mongolian beef in my Instant Pot. I believe I have a recipe up in my Instant Pot recipes. Then the next segment, I've actually made homemade pho that's on the right hand side, you guys. She loves homemade pho. That's Vietnamese soup with lime. I don't put any pepper or any spices in there for her. Me and Ryan put it on our own plates, but she will eat a whole bowl. I made it in an instant pot. I'm gonna have a video coming out sometimes. Uh, check out my instant pot recipes. It should be in there. And then on the right hand side, you see pasta. It's just basically pasta with meatballs. Uh, I just cut up the meatballs for her. She will eat the noodles, forget about the meatballs. And those were chicken meatballs. And then in this segment, Ryan is feeding her matzo ball soup or chicken noodle soup. She loves, 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 loves when I make matzo ball soup. Uh, it's one of her favorites. And of course, when daddy feeds her, she will eat anything, almost anything. She's definitely daddy's girl. She will. You know, as long as we'll have some type of music on. And that's how the matzo ball soup that I made. And I actually made it in my Instant Pot. Uh, she loves, she ate a whole bowl. And actually later on, she drank some more of the broth. It was really good. And she actually ate all the chicken. We were really proud of her. That day was amazing because she actually ate. That's pretty much it for dinner, you guys. I'll usually give her everything that we eat when we do go out we encourage her to eat some of the foods that we eat if not we'll go back to mac and cheese or fruits or vegetables or something like that all right you guys let's move to the next segment of snacks and her drinks for Emma's snacks and drinks I will give it to her in between meals or whenever she wants it um, Milk, I try to give it to her twice a day. Juices, I limit how much juice I give. I That would be in this next segment. But if we do go out, she will have snacks in the car with me. I try not to give her fast food. If we're gonna go eat, we're gonna go eat a slice of pizza or something like that, something that she could have from us. All right. Okay, you guys, so this is some of the snacks that she has right after um in between meals basically if she does not if she's giving me a hard time to eat this is what i will give her especially if we're on the road and we're in a car um or we go to the mall or we're somewhere she has it in one of those little cups and i'll put it in one of these i'll put it in a corner um it's uh, very convenient the goldfish baked she loves these then I get these at Aldi's, the yogurt bites, banana, and, and then I have strawberry. She loves these. Those are her favorites. And then these, I usually buy them in bulk, a big, huge bag like that. I buy them at the Asian market, but you could buy them anywhere at the store. You could buy them organic. They're basically rice cakes, 
but a little bit sweet not too much and then obviously apple uh, applesauce have my regular moths applesauce usually strawberry she loves the strawberry one cinnamon hmm a little bit of it it's okay usually regular no sugar added and then these fruit fruits uh, fruit cups in a natural syrup usually I have um, a mix this is peach she loves these this is her snack and then these as I already showed you let's just some more I buy mainly I tried to buy organics uh, either Walmart or all this is the best you guys 79 cents a pack and these are only in extreme situation. If my mother-in-law is watching or if she's with Ryan and she's giving us a hard time to eat anything, we started hiding it here because, not that we don't want her, because she'll only, if she sees them, she will only demand the pouches. Um, like Giant, our grocery store, uh, they had a sale 10 for 10 organics. I tried to get them, if they're organic, I love getting them. This is an easy snack for her in between meals. She loves them. And then her favorite fruit in the world is banana. She will eat banana all day long. So after she has her formula or milk, whichever, um, whole milk, if I already showed you, if I give her whole milk, I warm it up room temperature and I add a little bit of multigrain cereal or oatmeal or whatever just like maybe like a tablespoon just to thicken it up a little bit and some type of nutrition usually i buy with dha but that's what i had on hand and that's what i'm trying to use uh, so like around eight o'clock 7 30 depending when she wakes up she'll have her milk and then when she like maybe an hour later or so around 9 9 30 10 depending i'll give her a banana she will eat a whole banana and then around noon she goes to bed so before that around 11 o'clock or so she will actually eat a meal if she will give me a hard time to eat a meal i'll give her one of these or i'll give her a combination of whichever of course she loves sliced apples that's her favorite too grapes absolutely as you could see in the video grapes are all over the place pretty much she loves grapes and i just started giving her carrots she just got most of her teeth I do like to steam them a little bit in my instant pot for like less than a minute, like a minute literally. Or what I'll do, I'll boil them for like two minutes uh, so, so they're not too hard for her, but they're hard enough. Um, not the biggest fan, but we're trying this out. That's pretty much it. Now with the drinks. So after I give her a bath and she has her story time and everything like that, it's later on at night, around 8, 8.30, before 9 o'clock, basically, before she actually lays down to bed. I do give her milk, whole milk, warmed up with multigrain baby cereal. I add like about a tablespoon or two, just to thicken it up a little bit. It keeps her belly full through the night and, uh, you know, it comforts her. She loves it. That's pretty much what I do. Uh, it's our nightly routine and if I don't give it to her she will wake up in the middle of the night asking for her milk so this is what keeps her basically through the night nice and cozy and sleepy basically all right so moving on to our drinks here uh, what I have throughout the day she always drinks water always 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 she always will drink water but sometimes as a treat, once a day, I will give her a little bit of juice and she just learned how to drink out of a straw. I got this awesomest bottle at um, Walmart, I believe for two or $3 and she loves it. So what I'll do, I'll put about an ounce or two ounces at the most of apple juice or grape juice, whatever juice I have on hand. I try to have it organic and then the rest will be warm uh boiled water and then there's another sippy cup that i have it's the 360 cup i believe i don't really like using it because somehow she still manages to you know spill it around and i'm just showing what you know how much juice i put in if i do give her orange juice 
because you can't really dilute oranges with water because it's not going to taste right. I only give her an ounce to two ounces at the most. And then obviously, mainly she drinks water throughout the day and then milk twice a day, regular milk. So right before bed and then if she wants milk, she'll come up and ask me for milk. Um, juice, I try to limit that. I only try to right now give it to her on the weekends when daddy's home or when we go somewhere or if she's super fussy, I try to give her as a treat. I don't want her to have too much sugar. Um, and if I do give her juice, I try to have it organic. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new. Uh, let me know what your toddler eats. I would love to know. And um, I know it doesn't seem like my toddler is really picky, but as you could see, I'm mainly giving her everything that she likes as long as she eats because there's days that she does not eat and me and Ryan get really, really upset about it. We like even argue about it because like, what can you do? You know, she won't eat certain things. Like if I make chicken or I make something, mm -mm, nope. Unless the chicken or the beef is in a soup like you saw, she will eat that. Otherwise, don't forget about it. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. And let me know if you guys want me to go into details of how I make certain things for her and stuff like that. Alright? Have a good one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Oh, you meant the world to me